everybody. This is just a really quick tutorial to show you how to import uh, SVG files into Cricut Design Space and more specifically SVG files from SVG Cuts. Um, so let's get started. Let me show you first. When you download it, you'll get it as a compressed uh, zipped file like this one here. So we need to first unzip it in order to get the files to be able to put them into Design Space. So the first thing we do is I double click this folder here and I'm running a Windows machine on Windows 8. So it may be different if you're running Windows 7 or um, if you're running a Mac, I will link below to a video that can help you out with it if you're using a Mac. But in Windows 8, I just, after I open the compressed folder, I click this extract all button and I'm just using the uh, software that comes specifically with Windows 8. I'm using no special software. So I just want this to save to my desktop. So I'm going to erase that part there. And I don't need it to show my files when I'm done. And I just click extract. So you can see it's showing on my desktop. I just click extract. It's going to do its thing. And there it is. You saw it pop up over here. So I can close this window. And I have here, this one is the uncompressed version and this is the compressed version. Um, you could get rid of this and put it in your recycle bin. That way you don't get confused. It's what I do sometimes. Um, but that's my file I want right there. So when I open this folder, you can see inside we've got this Everyday Wishes and it says it's a JPEG or Everyday Winter Cards, excuse me. And it says it's a JPEG image. So this is an image that shows you um, what the file is if you forgot. Then this is the menu, and this is super important for SVG cuts files because they don't import the actual size. So we'll need to re we'll need to reference this sheet when we go to import them. But you can see for each of the projects, it shows the a picture of the project. Um, Mary's also put some great information about what paper she used in her kit, um, and then a little bit about the file itself. And then it has each one of the little images that go with this particular file. Um, and, you know, so here's the right panel and the front panel and the left panel for this card. And it also shows you how wide you need to size it. And we'll go through that when we get into design space, but that's pretty important information there. And then it just, you go through and it shows, here's the snow day photo card. And, you know, there's some specific information the other thing too is sometimes she'll put this here. So if you're using eight and a half by 11 paper, you would size this to 11 inches wide instead of 11.4 like it says here. Or if you're using a 12 by six mat, so if you have an old Cricut bug um, and you have a six by 12 mat, this is how you size it. You size it to six inches wide. So just some, she's got some great hints on how to do some of that stuff to make this stuff fit. So. Um, on and on. These are all the different cards and all the different files. There's some information about each one of them. Um, it's just, this is a really great reference sheet. They, they do such an amazing job and thank you so much to SVG Cuts for their awesome menu files and it, it just makes everything so much simpler. So um, I'm going to minimize this for now. And then the other thing you'll notice in our file when we unzip it is here's the actual SVG file. So each project is in its own folder and we don't want to double click anything from here, but let's say I'm doing this gift card holder, which is the one we're going to open. You can see here's all the SVG files um, and they say over here under type for my computer, I have it, it listed this way, but you can see it says it's an SVG document and we don't want to double click any of those and open them. Um, you could look at this JPEG image if you want to see it, again, for inspiration or to remember what the card was supposed to look like. Okay, let's head on over to Design Space and we'll go ahead and open um, a new project and go ahead and import our card that we want to do. So we're going to go here and the first thing I would do is sign in. I'm in Design Space now and I'm signed in. So I'm going to click upload image and you can do a basic upload or you can do a vector upload. All SVGs are done as a vector upload. So we click vector upload and we browse and we want to find our file. And in this case, it's on the desktop and it's everyday winter cards. That's the one I want. 
we go into SVG files and we want the reverse gatefold gift card holder. And we just want to import each one of these. Let's go back over here and I'm going to open the menu file just to make sure that I import everything that I need. So you want to import every one of these different things for the U, left panel, front panel, right panel, on and on. So the first thing you could do, you could either go in order that's here in your menu file, if that's easiest for you, or you just start going. I usually just start from the top and work my way down. So the first one we have is a card base and we click open. And then I rename this to something that I can remember and I just want to make sure it matches my name. So I'm going to copy and paste this so I don't have to retype that multiple times. And I'm going to go here and change this to say reverse gatefold gift card holder base. And I'm going to put that here in my tags and you always want to put your tags um, You want to maybe put tags in here that you would use later. And uh, oh, I, I always want to put the creator because it helps me. And I think that's good. So then I click Save Image. And it's going to spin for a few minutes. And here is my file. So I'm going to go ahead and upload all of these before I go putting them into Design Space. There we go. That was our last image. Now, unfortunately, with these, you have to really do each one individually. And it's really nice because sometimes if you decide that you don't want all the pieces, like if I didn't want this for you and this little banner put here, I could have just skipped those steps all together. And I ended up I wouldn't have ended up with them in my files. So if I just wanted, you know, the the pieces of the gift card holder itself and the envelope, I could have done it that way. And by being able to do each of these individually, it really works out well to be able to um, make these files versatile for whatever you want to do. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to pull each one of these and click them and bring them into Design Space. So I have all my files selected. I'm going to click Insert Images. And they're all jumbled up together here in a big stack. So I'm going to pull these all apart so I can see them. And as you can see, they are all different sizes. That envelope's way too small, and this for you is way too big. But that's where that awesome menu that they create for us comes into play. So I'm going to take each one of these, and I'm going to start with that one and go back to my menu. And you might want to print this out and have it in front of you, or you could just do like this and reference it right on your computer without printing it. So. First, we're going to do here this card base says to do it at 11.4 wide. So I go back to here and I click my edit panel and you can see here where it says width and height. We want to change this to say 11.4 and hit return. And now that's the right size. So then we move some of these out of the way. We go to the next piece. We will do I'm going to do these panels. So we'll do the left panel is 3.4 wide. So I go over here. Oh, which did that left panel look like? The left panel was this kind of whitish one with the swirl on the side. So all oh, this is in my way. This piece right here, we want to change that. And I already forgot. 3.4. We want to change this to 3.4 wide. And now we can see, whoop, if I arrange this to the front, that this will fit on one of these panels. See how nice that fits? And we'll just go ahead and do that for all the rest of these pieces. Okay, there we
we go. They're all sized and ready to go. That's all we need to do. The only other thing we should do is they create these files so that these lines are cut lines. We can change those to score lines and we also need to attach those lines. So in the case here, I've got, this is the, the actual gift card holder. So you can see I've got this big piece, I'll move these out of my way that I don't need to worry about. But I've got this big piece selected, this big rectangle selected, and I need to take these dotted lines and make them fold lines. So I'm gonna go here, or score lines. I'm gonna change these to score instead of uh, cut. And then I need to attach those. So I need to make sure that those two pieces are selected, both the score line and the card, and I need to click attach. Because what would have happened when I go, and I'll show you, because I haven't done it here to the envelope. See the envelope, I didn't do that. So when I click go, what's going to happen here so you can see here my see my score lines and actually even the cut lines for these gift card the gift card they're not attached so i need to make sure to attach those files so in this this one that we did you can see the score line is attached to my card so when you import their files just make sure that you double check that because you might need to click attach and get those files or get those score lines or cut lines attached to your um, design. Otherwise, when you go to the cuts or the other screen, I'm gonna change this to score. Now, when I go to the preview screen, you will see that that one, that first black mat that we had with the score lines on a, in a separate place, it's gone. So now we just have that one, that one, and here's my blue card. It's kind of hard to see, but there's some gray lines right along here. And those are score lines. See, it says it's going to cut and score. And then that's the gift card holder. And now those cut lines that were on that one mat are now on their own mat. That is how you get multiple layered SVGs um, into Design Space. And specifically for this tutorial to show you how to do um, SVG cuts files. So I hope that helped you out. If you need help with your Mac, um, importing these files with your Mac. Make sure you go check out um, Ian's video at the Off Kilter Crafter and I will link it down below so that you know where to find his file. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting!